Another subject that I think is important as well is player pension, uh, something that you know isn't talked about much, but at the end of the day, our careers end, and one day we we would like to you know have something for what we've done on tour. You know, I played for 18 years. I don't have a player's pension. One of the reasons is the rules back then, and I'm not sure if it's changed now, but. The rule was that you had to have a certain amount of tournaments. It was nine tournaments a year on the ATP, main draw ATP. And what they promote is when you get to a tournament, of course it's for the fans as well. They don't want you to tank or, or just not try and match it. So they promote just to pull out of the event. If you're if you're not able to play 100%, if you're not 100% you have to pull out of the event. And so what I did was I, I was hurt, had a back injury and I would show up to the event and I wasn't ready, I wasn't 100% and I would pull out of the event. And these were main draw ATP tournaments and I did this, you know, for a few weeks, three, four, five tournaments in the year. Essentially, not thinking that I would lose a whole year of pension because I'm doing this. Instead of just going and playing two points and saying, oh, I hurt, whatever, coming up with an excuse, I could have actually, right, had a whole year of pension uh, for myself. So these are just little things that I look back now and I'm like, why, why was that rule there? Why did we have that rule where I could have just, right, I could have had my pension. I lost the whole year of pension. So those are just a few examples of why I think we, the players need representation and they need help in these aspects. When you're not sure what's happening, when you're young, you know, coming up on tour, you're not really, you don't understand how the whole tool, tour works. Uh, it's good to have uh, somebody like the PTPA representing you.